This is Daisy and Stella. They are getting a bath together, and they are two Pomeranians. And this is Stella, the black and tan one. I think it's called Tricolor. I can't remember what the names of it. And then that was Daisy. She says, she says, um, excuse me, pets for me, please. I would like some pets. I would like some pets. Don't pet my sister. Just pet me. I forgot to ask mom how old the two of them are. But I think they're fairly young, and I think Daisy's a little younger than Stella because she is, she's very curious. She says, "What is that? St- oh, that's water." I think I think I'll just come over here. You could stop putting that water on me because that's just not something that I'm okay with. And Stella was like, "Um, uh, well, I, I think I'm going to investigate. So let's see what's happening over there." Bathing two dogs at once is a fairly new situation for me. Uh, Typically at corporate salon, we would have one in the tub on the noose and it's, oop, I dropped the camera. (laughs) Whoopsie. Uh, Okay, let's reset here. And um, all right, we're back. I'm not sure how much time it saves, but I'm kind of working on my time management in terms of multiple dogs. It's kind of nice to allow the dog to walk around, kish, 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 (laughs) Uh, and dry a little bit while I dry the other dog. And I actually end up drying both of these dogs at the same time, which I was really surprised at how well they did. They were just really kind of into it. The shampoo I'm using is a shed control shampoo made by Earth Bath. It is green tea and oh gosh, I don't remember. Green tea and something that starts with an A, but it smells so good and it makes their coats super duper soft. And one thing that I really like about using my own shampoo choice, which Earth Bath is just a shampoo that I've always really liked for a number of reasons, Um, It doesn't make my hands crack. The shampoo that we used at corporate salon, my hands would get so dry and like my fingertips and my knuckles would like split because they were so dry. Even if I used like the working hands lotion, it was just there was something really harsh about that shampoo. I really like Earth Bath and it was just something that I would always just recommend because it smells so good. It's made in San Francisco, which is like my backyard. And I love it so much that they reached out to me and they let me be an ambassador for them, which is awesome because I get to share and kind of benefit a little bit from a product that I really genuinely endorse. One big question I get is, oh, what shampoo? My dog is shedding so much. What shampoo is best for my dog? And yes, a shedding shampoo or a shed control shampoo does help in terms of removing your dog's undercoat and helping brushing be more effective. But really the main thing for shed control is frequent brushing. And some dogs are like never ending shedders, labs, pit bulls, any smooth coated dog can be just like a shed machine, especially like for some reason, like white areas on smooth coated dogs. And I've said this before are just like, it's never ending. It's just you could brush it till there's no more hair. And I feel like there'd still be hair somewhere coming off. Pomeranians are a double coated dog. And it's really important to maintain their undercoat and their undercoat will come off a lot easier with a good quality shed control shampoo and conditioner. But I really usually just recommend shed control when uh, you're in a professional setting. The reason for this is sometimes when you're washing your dog at home, it's really difficult to make sure all of the shampoo is rinsed completely. And there are some shed control shampoos that are very, very harsh. The Furminator conditioner, for example, is very harsh and it's very, I mean, not harsh in a bad way, but you really don't want to leave any residue on your dog. And there have even been times way back in the day when like the de-shedding packages were coming out in corporate salons that some of my bathers wouldn't rinse the dog completely or thoroughly enough. And they would have spots on their coat later on, like a week or two later, that were like balding because like the hair was just it was irritating the skin and the hair was just like coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, like almost working too well. Like you don't want your dog to be bald. You just want the shedding to be under control and the coat to be healthy. 
I've also had some dogs who are extremely sensitive to the shampoo and conditioner that Ferminator makes, and they would break out in a rash all over their body, which is super scary because you don't know like if your dog's going to be reactive to it. So I always say the gentler, the better, because you, it's better safe than sorry, especially if your dog is naturally like has sensitive skin or your dog naturally has allergies. Back to Daisy and Stella, I used a blueberry facial shampoo on their faces, which is tearless. And even though something is tearless, doesn't mean you want to get it in their eyes. So I am still very careful not to get it in their eyes. However, because it's tearless, if a little does get in their eye, like when you're rinsing, it's not going to like burn their eye. There were some shampoos that we used at corporate salon that if like I would be so afraid if the dog shook and like a piece of the shampoo would get in their eye because it's gotten in my eye before and it does not feel good. (laughs) Not at all. I always thought it would be kind of funny to do like an experiment on these tearless shampoos too and like actually like rub our eyes with them just to kind of see how it actually, maybe I will do that. That seems, yeah, that would be kind of an interesting thing to do. Like get a whole bunch of tearless shampoos. Anyway, I'm, I'm off track. (laughs) I apply a conditioner on them, which is uh, the partner to the Earth Bath Shed Control Shampoo. Smells the same, that green tea. Now I'm going to go look and see what the name of the other the other smell is. It's Awapuhi, A-W-A-P-U-H-I. That's why it smells so delicious. It's a wild ginger and it's used as a keratin treatment, so it makes them extra silky and smooth. I let the conditioner soak on for a little while. You're supposed to let it soak for like five to 10 minutes, but ain't nobody got time for 10 minutes. So I let it soak for like five minutes. And oh, look, magic. We're on the table. Stella says, um, I put the loop on her just because I wasn't sure if she is a jumper or not. She says, what's going to happen? She says, uh, excuse me. Um, oh, I can't leave. I'm stuck to the table. Oh, no. I put some towels down on the floor and let Daisy kind of mosey around. And then I was like, hmm, I wonder if Daisy would let me dry her with Stella. The towel that I have on the table is my Artero Super Absorber Towel. And it works so well. It really like sucks all the water out. I did a video with Ty. Was it Ty? That I was demonstrating how it works and how how the water like sucks into it and that's the only way I can describe it absorbs into it (laughs) I'll put a link in the description it's the link that I send you to it's from Artero's website I don't get paid for it or anything but it's only like eight bucks and it is amazing she's kind of roaming all over the place and I said can you just get back here so that people can actually see you and then I what am I doing let's see I'm going to readjust the loop. I like not using the loop, but like I said before, uh, I wasn't sure how she was going to act. I didn't want her to jump off the table or like if I had to turn around or tend to Daisy. And I think Daisy went tinkle and I'm cleaning it right now. So I decided that Daisy is going to come up here too. So here they both are. She says, oh man, I thought that I was just going to get to roll around on the towels. This is... Can can we get pet now? Oh, oh, it's the blow dryer. What's going to happen? What is your plan? Because this is weird that we're both on the table getting a blow dryer. I decided that Stella was pretty chill, and I just kind of used my hand to make sure that she's not going to go off the edge. But I end up taking the loop off of her after a little while because it's just starting to get in the way. But Daisy is just wants to be on my shoulder she says i'll just i'll just stay right here you could blow dry me while i just stay right here i love it when dogs do this i think it's so stinking cute and stella is just like uh as long as i don't have to get blow dried and then i think i'll just be all right over here i think the loop got stuck on her back foot so i'm like trying to get the loop off of her back foot and she's getting all tangled up so daisy is just <laughs> She says, this is comfortable. I'll just lay right here. And now Stella's kind of getting closer too. She says, maybe I should do that. Maybe if I do that, I'll be done sooner. But they're so sweet. These two little ones are just so, so sweet. And this was the first time I've ever met them, the first time I ever groomed them. And they were just 
a pleasant, pleasant surprise. And their coats were in great shape. Mom takes really good care of them. And she actually has two others, uh, Coco, which I just posted a picture of her sleeping on my table, and Lana. Lana or Lana? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I'll have to ask her next time I see her. Um, but she is prego, so she couldn't get groomed today. But she says, I stand here. This is, this is nice. <laughs> Now that I've determined that they are not going to try to escape on me, I gave them both free reign of the table. And I need to figure something out for the back wall because sometimes they like to lean against the wall. And I think it'd be maybe if I put like an absorber towel against the wall, that would be kind of nice because then it will pull some moisture off of them. But Stella and Stella's like, man, why is it got to be my turn for so long? And Daisy's over there like, hey, 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 I just stay over here and I don't, I don't have to get blow dried. It was really sweet. They just like kind of supported each other. And like, I feel like Daisy was Stella's moral support. <laughs> and she, they just did really, really well. I just can't get over how sweet they were. I didn't do any filming of brushing them, but the brushes that I recommend for this long double coat is a slicker brush, a comb, and an undercoat rake. They didn't have a lot of undercoat because like I said before, mom is an amazing brusher. Uh, so I just had to do some line brushing with my slicker brush and combing. I think I had to spot shave a tiny little love knot out of uh, Stella's ear uh, from behind her ear. We call them love knots because that's like it's behind the ears and that's where a lot of people like to scratch their dog, which it's not from petting your dog there. Uh, it's just from not running a comb through it very effectively, but their coats were in great shape and Daisy had like not a single knot. They also got their feet trimmed and their sanitaries trimmed, which is just under the tail. I also cleaned up their little britches, which is their little butt feathers. This is called the stuff and it helps dry their, their coat and it's also a leave-in conditioner. So it makes them like super duper soft and I just started using this uh, per recommendations from my groomer friends, and I really like it. So this is the ready-to-use bottle, but they do sell bigger bottles that are you have to dilute yourself, which I'm definitely buying a gallon of that stuff because it's awesome. What was that stuff that you sprayed on me? It's called the stuff. I know, but what is that? It's like Abbott Costello. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I need to go to bed. <laughs> I spray the stuff on them when they're about 60-70% dry and then basically like a damp coat and it just helps them dry a little faster and their coats are just so silky afterwards. I can't even like the difference between corporate salon shampoo and products that we're using there the quality of the groom and the quality of the way their coat feels and how they smell is just night and day. It's crazy. I have a few regulars whose moms are like super sensitive to their dog's smell. So they feel like their dogs stink like after two weeks. So I'm working on figuring out a good combination so that we can make sure that we're not like over bathing. So it's over bathing your dog's going to smell worse faster because your dog overproduces those oils to try to make up for the oils that keep getting stripped. So it's really important if you can four to six weeks, eight weeks if you can, uh, between bathing. Some people are like, my dog's skin's so dry. Well, how often do you bathe it? They're like, we wash her once a week. And I'm like, uh, that is part of the problem. <laughs> Your dog is literally like starving for oils in its skin. So even if you're using really good products and stuff, it's just wait as long as you can. Some dogs only need to be washed twice a year, like miniature pinchers, Dobermans. It's like as needed twice a year. Their coats are just, they just maintain cleanliness. I'm not really sure how it works, but anyway, they're getting all nice and dry. And like I said, I didn't film them getting their feet trimmed or their brushing. I'm working on being more consistent in terms of filming. I'm going to do a lot more lives. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you.